who's cooking right now so who's cooking let's say kwa bdl right now the way i'm above that city are playing this so far i think that city are cooking right now and let's see uh coach mohammed mbwana on the who's cooking right now saying yeah. what's, what's the secret behind uh, i think me uh yale ambayo tumeanza kwenye mazoezi uh wachezaji kwanza kwa nini na wao wenyewe kwa nini na wenyewe kwa nini so it's something beautiful that we, we continue to build kwa game na kuzidi kwenda tumeona tumepata mechi rahisi kuna mechi nyingine ngumu na kwa wale ambao wachezaji wana fight go na kucheza around the system nadhani ni kitu kizuri ambacho tunaona kwamba kuna maendelezo nadhani ni mechi moja au mbili ambayo lakuta tunashinda more than 20 points uh, so ni maendelezo mzuri uh, na bado tuna tuna YC wachezaji kuweza kushikilia hizi system ili tupate kucheza kwa urahisi mpaka sasa na city ni timu ambayo inaongoza kwa hiyo system what's the mentality behind Ah uh, it's cause of pressure sababu naambiwa defense ni intentional inatoka kwenye kwenye moyo wa mtu kutaka kufanya kile kitu ah uh, inafundisha techniques na kwa mchezaji kutaka anatakiwa kwa zaanze yeye moyoni kwa mimi kama mimi ah uh, hizi za cheza au za defensive minded so ni still hiyo kwenye timu yangu bado hatujia katika ile hali nzuri ya consistency lakini nadhani tunaelekea ah uh, tunaelekea pazuri kwamba kuna mwendelezo fulani ambao unaenda tunahitaji zaidi kukamata rebounding uh, tuna, tunahitaji zaidi ku kwa tunaweza kusaidiana help and recover uh, and transition after that defense kwa well, ni process but na niko proud na wachezaji wangu kwamba wanajitahidi kushika na kuvifanyia kazi kwenye game lakini hivi vitu tunavyoanzia mazoezi so coach it seems like teams are yes always na kupa tabu ya games yeah ah uh, what really happens is it the physical game or the mentality ambayo anakuja katika game na na nadhani ni physical game uh, sisi tushazoea kwa mazoezi tuna run uh, sisi lakini ndio tunajifunza humo humo kwamba timu ikija physical na maana inajaribu ku create chaos ili sisi tusiingie kwenye mtego wao lazima tujaribu ku isolate hiyo game lakini baada ya wachezaji wangu wanapata tabu hiyo lakini kote ya tatu na nne umeona tumejitahidi kuondoka na hiyo kwa game ikaanza kuwa rahisi. Kwa hiyo ni vitu ambavyo tunafanyia kazi bado viko katika katika process. Ngera sana coach. Asante sana. So who's cooking right now? <laughs> Not it is still hot. Thank you. Yeah, we still cooking. Hi, hi. Asante sana. Appreciate it. So that's it is cooking right now. Now who's cooking right now when the WBD are like for the ladies games who is really really cooking as you said you did ada na how do you feel about this i did ada ni good 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 so so the way you said the thing and you know so i don't know how to do it i did ada na iza iza thing you said miaka <laughs> Actually you had Jessica. So they don't both got trunked are cooking right now and they are hot. It is an unbeaten team so far it is an, an unbeaten team katika ligi and this hii inaonyesha jinsi gani ambapo 
Don Bosco are on fire and they have a message to send. Lakini chokumalizia and the biggest one is that on who's cooking right now? Let's check uh, the guy who so far ameweza kuonyesha uwezo mkubwa sana kubeba timu yake mgongoni na kuweza kuonyesha performance ya hali ya juu. So far katika categories almost 4 or 5 yupo katika top 10 if not the topper. Kwenye scoring list amekuwa namba moja ambapo sasa hivi na hisi anaweza ka ya yeah, still anaweza kaa namba moja lakini kwenye rebounding yupo kwenye top 10 kwenye assist anaweza kawa anaongoza au yupo kwenye top 10 and then kwenye steals pia yupo kwenye top 10 huu si mwingine bali ni Amini Mkosa Juma au oh, Amini Juma Mkosa ah uh, sasa hivi is the one who is trending let's hear him akisema ni jinsi gani ambavyo ame approach na jinsi gani ambavyo yupo katika ligi ya a uh, Dar es Salaam na what's the experience behind Kwa maji ya kwa Amini Mkosa na mchezaji wa Msonga. Ah uh, game ilikuwa ni nzuri kuanzia mwanzo mpaka mwisho. Tumeacha na opponent ambao wako safi. Na kitu kikubwa na cha msingi ambacho kwa kufanya sisi ni kwamba kuweza ku minimize ile muda wao wao kutoka kwenye game yao kwa sababu ya hiyo tulikuwa tuna pressure live na waliingia kwa sisi na tuanze kufanya na vizuri. Kwa hiyo kwa confidence sana ya kuweza kucheza na kuweza kushinda game leo kuzungumzia kutea ligi ligi ni ngumu actually kwa sababu kila timu zina recruitment ambazo uh, timu nyingi zina balance kwa hiyo kama timu zina balance inamaanisha kwamba mtu yote anaweza kufunga mtu yote inategemea kwa sababu umeamka vizuri au hauna bahati kwa kama unakuwa una bahati na malizi mazuri and you obviously unaweza kushinda game yoyote hii na ma, my experience ya uh, kwenye interview na my experience kwenye kutoka kwenye ligi ambayo nilikuwa nacheza ya mkoa wa Dodoma kuja hapa tena yani kiukweli ni nzuri kwa sababu imeongeza competition na ile moralia ya mchezaji kwa sababu uh, mara nyingi ukiwa mchezaji mzuri lazima ucheze kwenye stadi nzuri zaidi kwa hiyo na naheshimu ligi ya da ni ligi ambayo ina stadi nzuri sana na quality ya, ya wachezaji ambao wanacheza nao wote ni stadi kwa hiyo ni, ni muhimu pia na mimi nimeona kwamba nirudi ili endelee kwa kuongeza ile sana moto katika mchezo Ha, mkosa is cooking. Mkosa is cooking. <laughs> It's very serious and that. <laughs> Are we sleeping on something? Are we really 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 like sleeping on something? I think we do. Ni kweli watu wote ambao tupo kwenye basketball are we sleeping on team ya Vijana City Bulls the way ambao wana perform like for real? We really sleeping on them kwa performance yao ni kubwa lakini kikubwa zaidi ambacho uh, I really like about Vijana City Bulls is that performance yao ambao wanaionyesha ni kubwa. Wanaweza kawa wanacheza na timu ya kawaida lakini how composed they are. The way ambao wanaweza ka score, the way ambao wana defend, how balanced they are, how calm they are, the way ambao wana approach game. It's quite different ndipokuwa mechi ngumu ambazo kubwa wamecheza katika timu kubwa ni ya kwanza tu ambao wacheza na mchenga and then wakapoteza kwenye overtime lakini the rest zimekuwa ni wanacheza na timu ambazo ziko za kawaida or average or chini ya average uh, lakini the way ambavyo wanacheza i think watakuja kuwa tatizo hapo mbeleni kama wata maintain with the same pace ambao wana, wana, wanaifanya sasa hivi na uh, atupass we kulala on them we should not sleep on Vijana City Bulls they are elite the way ambao wana perform game yao it's quite different tuangalie hapa ni timu ambayo ina scorers wawili wakali kabisa katika ligi yetu ambao si mwingine ni Victor ambaye ameonyesha resilience na performance kubwa so far the way ambao wana approach game the way ambao wanacheza ah uh, He can score inside, he can dunk on you. Na hii ndio anaongoza kwa blocks katika ligi, lakini bali anaongoza kwa blocks this weekend kwenye game ya Mgulani, kafunga 3 point almost sita. Tena with ease. Unajua jinsi gani ambavyo mchezaji kama huyu ambaye ndo ana let's say kwa sasa hivi anaongoza kwa drive ambayo iko strong zaidi katika ligi, akiwa anafunga 3 points with ease the way ambavyo anafanya 
the next one akianza kufunga 3 point nikaenda ku stop 3 point ni kwamba tujiandae kwa face ambayo itaingia pale chini yani kwamba unaatalisha maisha ya big man wako so we should not sleep on vijana city boys especially vijana victor lakini ukiachia mbali kijana victor anaitwa kuna kijana anaitwa Alfani Kishkwambi machine wenye wanasema machine ni machine ya ku ya ku ni scoring machine so we should not sleep on them vijana city boys are a problem and kudos to coach Ashraf Harun ya the way ambapo ameweza kufanya transition ni mbali tuna Ashraf Farun management nzima ya vijana kuweza kubadilisha mfumo mzima they came with a new team uh, no registration ya international players they rely only on the players ambao wao develop wao uh, lakini mwisho wa siku ambao wao walikuti wao na wameweza kuwakuza kutoka katika sehemu moja kwenda kwenye sehemu nyingine the way you go wana perform the way vijana wana perform it's on another level so heshima kubwa iende kwa timu ya vijana City Bulls au management ya klabu ya vijana City Bulls. Lakini kikubwa zaidi vijana BBC they are performing at the highest level. Vijana basketball club wana perform katika higher level. The same to your goal. Kwa standard wale wanayo wachezaji wale wanayo the way ambao wana perform uh, it's elite. So see you on the next show. Kwa leo mimi nitakuwa nimemaliza. Uh, this is coach 255 Eric Pierre. Eli 255 most one from Pelodini. See you on the next show and don't miss out. This is Pastor 255. This weekend it will be Elite. Lakini okay, before weekend Alhamis I think kutakuwa kuna games uh sababu itakuwa ni Eid pili so kutakuwa kuna games nyingi uh, na kutakuwa kuna bigger game kati ya Outsiders dhidi ya Savio. It will be fantastic to watch, a great game to see. So let's wait and see. See you on the next show. Adios.